Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. Today is Monday. It is I Monday woke up. after vacation. <laughs> I woke up, made coffee, shaved, took a shower, felt ready to conquer the day, welcoming myself back to work. And then my day got weird. Because <laughs> it's Monday after vacation. So it's 7 o'clock right now, and we got ourselves an Impossible Whopper dinner because of it. Yeah. And we're gonna go home and make a little piece of Disney magic in some Epcot pretzels. Right, and on top of like, we're like, Peter had this weird day and we need groceries and all that. We're like, let's just go. And then we get to Burger King and our two Impossible Whoppers for $6 deal oh is gone. And so we're like, oh. And ah. then we go to pick it up and they're talking about ice cream and the woman turns to us and goes, do you guys want ice cream? Like. Just it's like gonna be a cream. magical moment, and we're like, we don't eat ice cream. We don't eat ice cream. <laughs> like, so we're gonna eat and listen to uh, new Taylor Swift, and then go home and have a good night with Eve. Yeah. And make some pretzels and watch some TV. Here's what we're gonna get to make in a minute. We just gotta figure out what we're gonna put on the TV tonight. I think it comes with everything except for oil and water. Yeah, even the salt. Yeah. It's got food grade lye, salt, dry yeast, the flour. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna eat all these. This makes like 10 pretzels. Huh. They're in the middle of a fight. No, she Look just how cute wants she to, is. I think she can tell that I had french fries because she wants to lick my hand, but. I'm trying to finish up where I was So we can stop working and hang out together. Yeah. Um, we're going to watch this new series called Fear City, New York vs. the Mafia. But before we get started with with that, um, I'm going to get started on the pretzels. And I'm super excited because I'm literally going to make, I'm going to make the dough with our stand, our KitchenAid mixer. And we've never, I've, I've literally never used it to make dough before. Peter, did you show your little display over there? Did I not show it yesterday? Or did I just take the photos yesterday? You just take the photos. I just set up my life because this is all I've, I've waited my entire <laughs> life just to, to do that. They're not dirty. I need to sterilize them, but I just needed to see that in my life. Anyway. We heard this is really good. The cast member at the pavilion said that cast members have coming have been coming into the shop because they have such a good discount just to get boxes and boxes of this. Yeah, so I told Sarah since we have 30% off um, our own discount. Off with annual cast discount, if this is good, this box was like four or five bucks. Yeah. And if it's good, you get eight to 10 um, pretzels. pretzels out of it. Um, so you combine the dough mix? Yeah, it's super simple. Uh, the base mix and the dry yeast carefully, and then we're gonna add warm water, then we're gonna add vegetable oil, then we're gonna knead it for three minutes. Then we let it rise for 30 to 40 minutes. Rise up, rise, rise up. up. And they gave us a tip to preheat your oven to 120 and then turn it off after it preheats and then that's what a, a thing, good thing they'll put, let your dough rest in to double in size. Evie, Evie. I put on these slippers, I haven't worn them in forever. My feet are really cold. Got the water in. Seven eighths cup, very precise. Three tablespoons of oil. Vegetable oil. Oil or boil. And a dead man's nose. This is when stand mixer is key. We're gonna knead the dough for three minutes. We just gotta stand here and get pumped. So now we have to wait 30 to 40 minutes while the dough proofs or doubles in size before we knead it a little bit and then Peter used roll to it be, out. Um, a bread connoisseur with his time baking bread at Subway. What are we watching? Uh, something about the Fear mobs. City. The mobs in New York. We have to look up how to. I've never like folded a pretzel. We're making pretzels, I'm assuming, not like pretzel rods or yeah. loaves. Yeah. We're going to make pretzels, so we got to figure out how to fold them. I did that one in Franken. I. Frankenburger? I did that once in Frankenmuth, Michigan. That's an AFS in there. trip. What what does that stand for? American Field Society? I Did you guys so. have that? I I didn't go to that trip. I wasn't cool enough. No, but you did have foreign exchange uh, students stay at your family's uh, home. From Denmark, yeah. Ready? <sighs> yes. 
the key here after the 40 minutes of proofing is that this should have doubled in size. Ooh. I think it did. Yeah, I think so too. I think it did. We gotta roll it. We gotta roll it. We gotta like uh, knead it a little bit and then get it into a dough, like roll, mm -hmm. and then cut that into eight to 10 pieces. Okay. We got a how-to pretzel video here. It smells like dough. Yep. Smells proper. Yep, and Peter just cut it into eight parts. We're gonna do bigger. It said between eight and 10, but we're just gonna go eight to so make sure that they're good size. We've greased up our pans. Here's four on this sheet. Peter's getting his final pretzel ready. This is my first one. <laughs> this is my second one. There's my third one. Wow. Let's see your technique. All right. Mm. Hold on one moment. How to fold a pretzel. We're both German. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is the way I do it, and it's not as fancy looking, but it works. That's how you do it. But there's like, I've seen like cool, like, <laughs> kind of like the, 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 the boat captains at Disney when they dock the boats. And you fix it up some, expand its face like Jack Skellington when he screams. Everybody scream! And they call him Sandy Claus. Fourth, I think that one might be my best. Yeah. But I think I'm gonna redo this one. I'd say I mixed up the lye mix with water, and we just have to evenly we put that- We don't have a brush, so. <laughs> Evenly put it on the pretzels and let it rise for another 20 minutes before it goes in the oven. All right, we're in the final step. Sarah's gonna salt them up, and we're gonna bake them. 20 minutes. Oven is preheated. Oh, she's being so delicate. I just feel like salt always just like bounces off of stuff. I tried to watch the guy at the um, Bay Lake. At the Bay Lake pool. Sandbar. Cove bar. Cove bar. Yeah. For real. I feel though. like he had like a big shake. It was just like. <laughs> <laughs> and he had like a spray bottle of water. They already smell really good. They already do really smell good. I hope they turn out just like this. This kind of reminds me of Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. Yeah. Good. Super salty, super delicious. We have, have mustard. Mustard. I think I'm gonna make mustard. Normal mustard, but I think I'm gonna make a little um, fake think? honey mustard with oh, agave. Well, agave. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a pretzel party. I said we're eating all these tonight. We're <laughs> for lunch tomorrow because we don't have any groceries. Mm, I think we eat them all tonight. They're looking delicious. You were just so used to being overly full constantly on our vacation that now you feel like you're starved. In they go. Ooh -hoo, and they are done. They look good. Something smells a little crispy, maybe the bottom, but I think Sarah's gonna make some honey mustard. I'm gonna get right into one with some horseradish, horseradish mustard. Horseradish. And be on my way, but they look. Real good. Delicious. Check it out. They look good. What do you think? It's not as good so far as a Mickey pretzel, but it's better than your average Joe pretzel. Yeah, it's good. I feel like they're crispier on the outside. Mm -hmm. I think that's what that like wash was for. I think we do it again, but we make like four and make them like. <laughs> or like we don't cook them as long. Yeah, but I still think we, we make them normal, like Mickey pretzel size. Yeah, no, they're really good. How's the honey mustard that you made? Good, I just did like equal parts mustard and agave in there. Nice. I ate all of my pretzels. <laughs> I'm saving one. Sorry, three of her pretzels. We're gonna get more, more of those boxes. I think we'll go back and get two or three of them. Yeah. Not cook them all at once, obviously, <laughs> bake them, but just for storage. Because we have to look up, we're supposed to look up when the annual pass for the 30% ends. Um, we have an Epcot day later this week? No, we don't. Mm -hmm. we, need to, we need to make an Epcot day after we get a park pass freed up later this week. Um, Sarah was adding today's Hollywood Studios vlog, and it was 
like we know the audio has been a little whack ever since we broke our, our microphone but I want to let you guys know that we Amazon Prime the same microphone we just thought rather than spending an exuberant amount of money on like a Rode mic or trying out another third party we just stuck with Overliable and rebought the same microphone we were using before that's been broken for what like a month now about yeah so that'll come in the mail tomorrow sometime um, so sorry about the audio yeah but it'll get better and well, I'm gonna have some of Sarah's cranberry juice I think and we're loving this uh, three three episode series of like the investigation into the New York mob I feel like one of our kids is gonna restart a mob what? I don't know I just feel like that you have a connection the best thing to realize on the Monday after your vacation ends is that you have vegan chocolate, dark chocolate truffle ice cream left over. And no, it's not mine. You guys know I'd finish this in one sitting, but... Can I have some? I don't need some. I'll pet the puppy because she was sleeping, but now she's awake for the treat. Look at that sun glare. Yeah. So, it's obviously the next day. We fell asleep on the couch, woke up at like 4.30. Mm -hmm. And my back is aching. <laughs> I'm worried that it's not the couch and that we need a new mattress. But we'll have to wait and see. But anyway. Yeah. I'm, I'm busy been at, at work. work for a few hours now. Sarah's editing now. Mm-hmm. It's a new day. Yes. It is good to be home. It's good to be home. And we will not leave out the daily message. Life is too short and unpredictable not to live it exactly as you please. Anonymous. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>